Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cults of Vintage. Richard is with us today. We are in Tippecanoe City, otherwise... It's called Tip City. Well, but it's short for Tippecanoe. I guess, that's what the sign yeah. said. It's true. I've never heard it, but... It really? Says, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tippecanoe. Mm -hmm. We're back at Midwest Memories. Let's get inside and see what we can find. <laughs> Still got their uh, patriotic kind of Americana, I guess I should say, display. Midwest, there's the exterior. Let's uh, get inside, guys. Here we go. Okay, we're going to see if there's a coffee shop nearby. Because I'm low on energy. So I need to try to get some caffeine or something here and why I'm saying this I don't know because you'll never know we're gonna jump right back to where we're leaving off here <laughs> at that little tiny view like you can look at a single slide at a time let's see can we do it with the camera oh my gosh we can't look it's a little garden scene wait let's try to f come on Oh, it wants to, f there it goes, there, there's flowers in there. What is it? It's a little slide view, single slide viewer. Mm. Whoa, Zadix. Huh. It's cute. It's $8. Huh. Mm-hmm. Like I have any left Right. It's like a Bakelite, too. That's cute. It's a fun uh, graphic. Okay. I always like this vendor. They do. They display well together, too. A little chalice. Communion cup. The pian... <laughs> I don't think it's up anymore. I think it actually all got taken down. <laughs> Whatever. Just like that, we're back where we left off, but magically we now have a coffee. Crazy. So, we'll head on down here and see what we can find, guys. Okay, so we found this hutch full of birds. Now, the first piece, of course, like, here's your bluebird of happiness that we're, not, like, used to seeing. Look at this is the biggest bluebird of happiness and the added bonus is only six dollars so yeah let's go ahead and get the giant this one's signed for the giggles of it all leah ward let me see 1987 it's a cobalt cardinal oh yeah or blue yeah. jay how many dollars is it four okay we'll get that Are you hey sure? yeah Four. We'll get that one. Here's a Fenton. Fenton is a four. Let's go ahead and... How much is this one? Three. May as well. How about these? I think these are Westmoreland. Or they could be Boyd's. But they're like a blue satin glass owl. They're eight. Let's get both of those. Let's get all of the birds. All the birds are us. Here's a little Galil-esque or cameo glass vase I've never seen. Oh my gosh, this one before the frog and the lily pad. That one's at 40. Or is it 42? 40. Look at that. That's really pretty. I like the frog. Hmm. I'm going to consider that one. We'll see. Richard found some... Oh, it's 40. Yeesh. Okay. How about these little ones? Yeesh. I'm not... A piece. Yeah. The medium. Oh, there's a large. 30. Yeesh. Oh, they're all up there. 30. Well, food. Yeah, the vendor also has the cutest little child's chair obviously it's it's older it's been used but so reupholstered even as it is it's kind of yeah. yeah 
It is a cutie. It's only $50, it's too. It is mohair. It's a red mohair. Mm -hmm. It's an aged mohair, so it is kind of crunchy. I will say that. So fall is right around the corner, and while, yes, it is stars and bars, it is in the amber uh, at $15. I am going to go ahead and pick that one up. <coughs> This is a beautiful warm glow. We're just gonna make sure there's no chips or cracks to it. Gee, thanks. I'm gonna let you look. Doesn't appear that there are. So let's go ahead and pick that one up. You're okay with the tiny little flea bites? Where? I don't know, really. Like right here? No, actually I'm not. Never mind. I want it to be pristine. This needs to be pristine in order for us to get it. So, woo woo, boo Richard, boo. <laughs> so we did find some vintage children and antique children's books. This one is from um, 1946 and it is The Dancing Queen. You, you know, I'm not actually in love. Okay. Uh, that's a little too rough for 1946. So what is the, oh, the spine on that one's pretty gone. Mm -hmm. yeah, now we'll pass on that one. Now Chatterbox here, 1894. Fully illustrated. It's a little bit warped, but it sure is. A little, yeah. You know. It's really nice. Oh, it looks like they had something pressed in there at some point. Look at the Steel cuts, yeah. Very detailed. I love the chatter boxes. I think we will get that one for $7.50. Ooh, stick them up. Here's something special. It's tea berry, not uh, cranberry. Sally Smith, tea berry. It's $100. With the pepper. Oh my god, is the sticker still in there? Oh my gosh, the sticker is still all the way. In the bottom. That's old Ellie Smith. Do you see it? Oh my goodness. That is a crazy expensive price, but it's crazy rare to find. And then I did find this off camera. It's this little pocket watch with these tiny, look at how thumbnail sized cupies are in here. Now it's 22. I've never never this is going to be something that would be hard to part with so this is i don't know i don't know but we're going to see about this so but in our basket y'all go okay so while we did good in there and i think that we got some good things especially the ellie smith tea berry i mean that was a phenomenal find i can't believe that they priced it only at a hundred dollars in comparison to some of the other vases so but well no i mean the viking the amberina the I mean, that was only 98, so that wasn't that bad. But um, the blue bird, all of the birds, that was insane. Especially that giant bird, that giant blue bird. That was an epic score. So um, we're on our way to a secret location that I have never filmed at, that I have never shared. Um, I don't know. I just left the cat out of the bag. Literally. <laughs> There's a cat in this store, and as some of you may know, some of you may not know, I'm allergic to cats, so um, I usually try to get in there and out as quickly as possible. You don't have a mask in here, huh? Probably not. Shoot. Oh, well. We'll make the most of it. Maybe the door will be open. Um, it, it is a very small antique mall. That's typically why I don't film. Um, because I've walked out of there spending five, six hundred dollars, and I've walked out of there spending nothing. But that's the same can be said for any huge antique mall. It's not because it's that mall because it's a small mall. It's just happens to be that time. So we're gonna get in there. We're gonna go over. We'll check it out. We'll see what we can find. Here we go. At the Mercantile in Piqua, Ohio. So, like I said, I've come here many a times. It is a relatively smaller uh, place, but we'll see what we can find in here. Oh, you haven't been upstairs yet. You have been upstairs now. You're kidding. Yeah. Just a quick kind of little... I don't know if the cat's still here. So, 
we're gonna go let's take Richard upstairs um, let's do that why don't we go ahead and go upstairs because that's new do you wanna okay I'm gonna go ahead and leave the way here we go that's because he's decided to move upstairs it looks like what's his face from Pet Cemetery. Ooh, that is cool, huh? How do you know? You never know till you ask. What's that Oz book? Oh, that's a vintage bit. Well, it's got a cover. Yeah. How does the illustrations look? <clears throat> Looks very 40s, 50s. Cute. Uh huh. Yeah. Minus the X in the head. <clears throat> hmm. This is a variety of glass. Me, 30. Oh, look at the lot of scene. Oh. 38. Golly. And it's Murano? It is genuine Venetian. Murano. Latticino. Latticino. A lovely name. <laughs> Ooh, geez, Michael. 28. Hmm. D. Frederick. I'm not in love with them, truth be told. Oh, look, I just had this. I did not have the etching. The Fostoria. I love it with the etching. That's really pretty. Mm-hmm. Hey, get me. Is it for sale? No. That's a neat one. $10 notebook. It's contemporary. Really? Yeah. Cleveland, Ohio. Hmm. Um, I literally have my t-shirt pulled up over my... I'm breathing in my chest hair. What? Ew. Uh huh. Somebody likes the uh, <clears throat> like the Gothic style light fixtures, but I was raised Roman Catholic. <laughs> Little jadeite, 180. Um, you are just trying to get pets. Oh, nothing for me. Representatives, citizens. <laughs> Do you see anything? No. Little crew it. I would like that red with the white applied. Mm -hmm. That one's interesting. How much Sounds is very it? Light. 35. Don't know that it's Venetian or Murano, but it does have an interesting look to it. Mm, not in love. So I will say that. Hmm. Yeah. It says vintage Ruven Art Nouveau vase. Pretty colors. 
Interesting. I've never seen a glass treatment like that. Let me look it up here. Well, they don't go for a whole lot as pretty as it is. So we're going to leave it behind. Let's go. It's a fast. It's the Fenton Turquoise. 15. Taking it. I. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. You never buy that. Fenton Turquoise. There's the exception. <laughs> I knew there were exceptions. Ooh, look at that deco art inkwell. Oh, look at that. That's fun. Oh, it's literally just rolls in there. Yeah. That's really cool. How much is it? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. 35. <laughs> Our Easterbrook pen and inkwell. It's very aggressive looking. I like it though. I think that's really mm. pretty. Ooh, the green. This one's green. One fifty for the set. Oh well, hello, turquoise. How are you doing? That one's thirty. I'm gonna take it anyhow. Look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay. How about you, little one? Ten. I don't know. Uh, I'm not overly in love. So we'll get these three pieces. He's a case lover. How many dollars? Did you see that one over there? Oh, no, I haven't been there yet. Next to the Keontae. Looks like a giant eye. Sauron. It's a lizard eye. It's a frog eye. <laughs> it does look like that. <clears throat> okay, what piece am I most interested on? No? <laughs> Remember who this is? Is that Mara? No. No. Telephoral. About 15. It's still a really good piece of good piece of glass. I believe Fenton made it for Telefloral. Okay. But I like this little one. That's what you're eyeballing? Could be a Westmoreland. No, it's a Fenton. Hey, price tag. 35, so I'm gonna leave that one. Mm. Did you see that crew it? That's pretty. Twenty. Look at that stopper with that light yellow in there. That one's pretty. Mm -hmm. They both are. I like the clear too. This one? No. Oh this one? No. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the cool thing about being here is that we, Richard and I, are permitted to um, come into the back room. Oh, sorry. Oh. One, two. Right there. He's going for these... What are they called? Toilet bowl things. Oh, cute. I want this. Anything that's not priced, she cannot get a hold of her today. She'll hold it. Well, he found something. Are you freaking out right now? This one's really pretty. They don't, these don't go with me. They pop out. Oh, like you have, oh, these would be, that would be so good on the dining room table. Although I like this, this one I don't. But that's not supposed to be on. Well, that's pretty, though. Well, put them, because I want these. Of course, I'm finding the stuff without the price. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that lamp. 
Is that glass or pottery? He's going to go drop that stuff off at the front. I'm going to go check and see if I can get over here to see. That's pottery. Aladdin wheel. What does it say? The something inspected portable lamp. Can you see what that says underneath there? There's a sticker. Underwriters Laboratories Incorporated inspected portable lamp. It's marked Aladdin. Hmm. It does have a little chip in the foot. Does it? Right here. Hmm. It's so, so like. This whole thing is really unusual. It's giving me like Egyptian revival, like almost like scarab. I think that's, isn't that 20s? It, that's what it looks like to me. Oh, very art deco. With this plastic. Let's get that at 35. I think with the right shade, that could be something crazy special. Do you want to get back in here? No, it's okay. Anything up there? No. Okay. Uh, oh. No. No. Those are actual lamps. Oh, okay. I can't believe she had those. I believe you missed that shade. I haven't been around here yet. It would have been cute for your turtle, too. I still have the turtle. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, five dollars? You know what it like I don't know turns to okay when it's five dollars. Oh here we've got some really pretty Moriyagi down here. Nippon Ooh ooh oh. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. We're gonna get that too. So it's just like all this stuff is like on the shelves waiting to kind of come out. Um, Semi organized, but it's not like super organized. But again, oh, look at these little pups with their sparkly eyes peeing on something. They are. Sparkle when you're peeing. They're peeing. Sometimes, I'm telling you what. Y'all know. Oh, there's some green mid sunch jewel eyes. Look at these two. Err, creepers. Okay, so we're looking at 10 for the Laurel and Hardy esque. I don't know. There's a flea bite or like a rough spot on his nose. So I'm wondering if I do get those after all. However, the peeing rhinestone-eyed dogs here, those are at eight with no condition issues, as are the very mid-century green jewel-eyed shakers at eight. So we'll get both of those. Okay. So behind us here, we do have some glass shelves. Um, pink depression, though it's all, pri like that's $5. Whoa. You know, $5. That's really fair. I mean, that's more than fair. That's like thrift store pricing at this point. Oh, look, the... Here, I'll take the lid off. 50. 50, Oosh. How much are the little dishes? 12. 12. And that one, I can't see. It's priced on the bottom. Same. 
Oh. Are they cranberry or pink? Oh, they're very different. That one's... Yeah, they are very different. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's get both. I'll get both. $12, I can't, you know. I don't think it's the hugest moneymaker, but I still like it. Again, fall. Keep your eye out. 15. Mm. I like him. Eight. I'll get this for eight. How much? Yeah. Is that supposed to have a lid? Eight toothpick. Eh. Chip. I don't want to pay eight for it. Chip. This thing is fighting with me right now. <laughs> All right, bird. You don't like it. Mm -mm. Fifteen. That's. A, I like the amber a lot. Not like, ugh, I don't like it, but ambivalent. That would just be a sweet little thing with a candle in it. That would be. You're right. How are we doing up here? Oops, I'm caught on green. How much is that green one? That, yeah. Eight. Okay, we'll get that, because then... We got a match. Y'all. The bigger one. I, don't know. I don't like the bigger one. I like the little ones because they're little. Ooh, look at the little, that little teeny one. Here, I got it, Bella. That one's six. This looks like Imperial. Ooh. It's definitely an iridescent. Is that it's Amethyst? Yes, it is Amethyst. Let's get that one. Yeah, see? Oh, yep. I like it. So we'll just add that to the collection. We, we've got all this. We've got the lights. Can you, do you think you could look up these lamps and see if they're anything? Where? Oh, in your hand? Yeah. Okay. I'm holding it like... Got it. It's now we did spot these two items, the two linens with the embroidery. Um, those are two and three a dollars. Two dollars here to the one, three for this one. And then I found a hand-painted Fenton Milk Glass card Dove with cardinals on them. And that one's only 15. Richard found some more. This matches your... It's, it does. It is, it's, uh, is it the amethyst? Yeah. Can, you, can you see it? Yeah, okay, smarty. <laughs> is that one $8 too, or is it 6 6 6 okay. Do you like any of the... Didn't I get an amber? I no, know. I didn't. Let's get an amber one. Not yellow. So amber, amberina, this is and green. And you got this green. But it's not the same size. That's satin. Yeah, well this one's bigger. Than the other ones I got? Yeah. Remember I have that in the green and the amberina. So we'll do that one too. This is what happens when we don't bring the appropriate vehicle because we really weren't planning on it. And this is like Richard's work truck. So yeah, gonna drive with this on the lap. Yeah. Alrighty guys, well there you have today's Shop With Us video uh, from both Tip City and from Piqua. Piqua, I think you can definitely see why um, I like coming back here. So we're definitely gonna hit it back up again. It is always a pleasure at both stores. Uh, we definitely got some good things at some great, great prices. So I know you're very excited about your mm -hmm. oil lamps. As yep. always, you guys down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works. And you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>